Um, her, my name's Chloe, and I have had the office Christmas ever. Of course, first of all, I have got the worst beard rash, and that is just from kissing my aunties. <laughs> but anyhow, but next Christmas, I am declaring this face a crisp-free zone. <laughs> no, and this is really off. My gran had this pet turkey, right, called Angela, and it's really nice natured. And guess what? My mum and dad reckoned they were having it for Christmas lunch. <laughs> so me and Adam, we demonstrated our guts out in front of our house. See? <laughs> and we were chatting, don't chop her head off, don't chop her head off. And guess what? They chopped her head off. <laughs> Fanny income, I was really upset because I'm a feminist. <laughs> and it's really bad putting women down like that by chopping their heads off. <laughs> you know, and I go to my mum, how would you like if someone just come and chopped your head off? That my mum would probably look better like that. <laughs> now, and then I just lock myself in the toilet bowling, and Dad goes, Carly, help your mother stuff the turkey. And I go, as far as I can see, it's pretty stuffed already. <laughs> now, and then all the fellows come over for lunch, and they go, oh, Merry Christmas, Carly. And I go, well, it's not a very Merry Christmas for the turkey with its head chopped off. <laughs> you know, and then everyone sits down at the table and starts praying, you know, probably because they know what a rotten cook my mum is. <laughs> You know, and they just start carving Angela up right in front of me. You know, they go, have some lunch, Kylie. And I go, I'm not eating my best friend. You know, I go to the horror room, I go, turkey murderers. You know, and all the relatives just go really quiet. And then every time someone has a mouthful of her, I go, there goes Angela's gizzards. There goes her brain. You know, and then Dad brings out this leg of ham. And I go, how could you do that? What about that poor pig walking around on three legs? <laughs> you know, and then Tracy, my cousin, she's three. She bursts out crying and mum goes, what's the matter? And Tracy says, I'm eating dead peas. <laughs> you know, and Adam starts saying, pea murderers. <laughs> you know, and dad goes, enough, really loudly. And Adam goes, dad. And dad goes, Adam, don't interrupt. And Adam goes, but dad. And dad hits him. And Adam goes, I was only going to ask what the slugs taste like because there was one on your salad before, but it's gone now. <laughs> He just goes, what? And then mum brings out the pudding and all the kids burst into tears. And dad goes, it is not dead pudding. <laughs> he goes, your mother made it. And I go, that's why they're crying because they're too young to die. <laughs> just like Angela was. And I just storm out, you know, because I just can't stand cruelty to dumb, to dumb animals unless they're really dumb like Adam or something. <laughs> I am never eating meat again because I'm a strict veterinarian now. <laughs> And guess what? You know how I asked mum and dad for a leather jacket for Christmas? Guess what I got? A vinyl one? <laughs> Speckle what? See us.